What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kobe TV, and I'm back with another react, man. I said I'm back with another react, man. If it's anything y'all want to know about your boy Kobe, just check down below in the description. I got all my social media links down below. Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. All those links will be left down below. Just make sure y'all check those out. But as y'all see by today's title, man, we got Zoo CEO response back to Krishan Rock saying he doesn't pay enough for her. As y'all know, Krishan was on live yesterday and one of her questions was, are you coming back to baddies? Are you going to go to the reunion? The answer to that was no. Rashawn Rock said she not ever going back to Zeus because they don't pay her enough. She said she want to get paid up front and she want to get paid on the back end. And they only paying her up front and not on the back end. So she said she not going back. She said Snapchat paying her more than Zeus was paying her. So why would she go back? She said she going to leave that in 2023. It's time to boss up. So the Zeus CEO responded back talking about some, she not worth it. You feel me? He not paying people emo off emotions and all of that. But it's just like, Krishan was the reason you was even making so much money, gang. She was the, the every season Krishan Rock was on baddies, that, that, that's why the numbers were so high. Watch when she don't be on there. Watch what happened to your numbers. Watch what happened. You're going to realize, you're going to be like, dang, I should have paid her. But hey, it is what it is. She's just not going to come back, gang. But, hey, before we get into the video, man, make sure y'all smash that like. And if y'all new to the channel, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post noti. But we're finna get into the video and basically see what Zoo CEO had to say about Krishan saying they don't pay her enough. So she not coming back. Y'all feel me? But let's get into the video. already made it clear I'm not going to bed. He's, I cannot... And I'm gonna eat my cereals, gang. Do that. On the time Please. breakfast. I mean, I was going to, but I'm starting to stick to um, if somebody not paying me my value, or like, if you don't wanna pay the fee for me to pull up, that's cool. I'm not pulling up there. Real talk. Hey, look, you gotta know your worth. As a as as an entertainer, as a rapper, whatever you want to call yourself, as a being famous, regardless of anything, you gotta know your worth. If nobody want to give you what you feel like you worth, buy next person up. If nobody, if you feel like you worth three hundred thousand, and they say you only worth one hundred and fifty, okay, that's fine. You, I'm not doing whatever you want me to do. Next person up. Go find somebody who think they worth 150. I'm worth 300. I ain't doing it. And you got to keep that mindset in 2024. Don't let nobody lowball you. That's basically what they trying to do. They trying to lowball you. Don't go for it. If you don't feel like that's enough, don't do it. I respect that. But I hate that for um, us young black women. We're not really getting value. We're letting people lowball in you. Industry. So when you do say a price, they do try to play. So my advice to that is to pray and be like, hey, God, get him. Because as soon as I said what I said, hey, I Hey, my bad if I'm smacking on the cereal. I don't know what this is. But Hungry. He better pay me my rate. If not, Lord, let them know. Like, you know, like, because I don't, I really don't know how you get past um, that thing in the entertainment business when you know your value and your worth. So when you get yeah. somebody your price and they don't want to pay it, it's kind of like, Keep it pushing. I don't know. You feel me? Did they not pay me enough to be one of that? I know what the fuck is gonna go down, how it's gonna go down, and what's gonna be brought up. I need to get paid for all that. Real talk. You the loudest one on there. Why not pay you? You doing the most numbers. You make you doing the most numbers than Natalie Nunn. Like, come on, bro. You really need to be the one running it for real. Like, I don't understand why they not trying to pay Rock. And she the main person on the show. Everybody got a problem when she don't even be showing her face. Like, one of the seasons she was on there, she'll be gone with blue face and all of that. Everybody mad. Because it's just like, I'm the I'm the big time on here. Y'all can't, can't run this show without me. 
So why am I not getting paid what I feel like I should be getting paid? You can't do it, I'm gone. She just gotta leave it. You feel me? And I be humble. I've been fucking with uh, Zeus. Go pay somebody for a else. Years now, but just gotta elevate. That's why, like, I won't do baddies. Unless gotta boss up. Like, I want the back end money, not just the upfront pay. I respect the game. I need the upfront pay plus the subscription money. Like, I'm bringing in the most people. Why not pay me? Something gotta elevate, or just stop doing shit that don't make you enough money. So the CEO of Zeus Network responded right to Chris Sean and said, Affording to pay certain individuals is not a Zeus issue. We make smart investments, not emotional, impulsive, or erratic ones. So I guess he's trying to say... So what he trying to say? Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think he trying to say. He trying to say Chris Sean not worth it? Like, she not worth invest putting their money into her? Like, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think bro trying to say. She don't, she don't deserve that much or something? Because she definitely do. She's pulling those numbers there right now. We will invest in you if you make the show look good or I don't really know because I don't watch the show. But based on what I, I used seen to watch it. Up, all it is, is I ain't watched this drunk, season. Fighting, pulling hair out, talking about something, I'm gonna take your man, I'm gonna do this, and all this ratchet bullshit. It's no difference from the love and hip hop or them other reality shows that's known for the same thing. You get drinks, they pitch out in a certain environment. You start fighting or whatever. Because nobody is going to watch a reality show where everybody getting along, everybody peaceful, they going out on dates, they just happy. Nobody nah, that's not it. even the People point. People love drama, chaos, arguments, fight. Bro, and that's what made Rock the biggest character. On, I said character. That's what made her the biggest person on the show because of the fighting. Everybody loved Rock on Baddie. She fought literally everybody on, on the seasons that she was on there. That's besides the season where she was pregnant. But other than that, she was on there fighting, getting in tune with everybody. Like, she was doing what people wanted to see. And it's just like, why not pay her? I I, I turned this show up for real. She was on the, what, the second season? And that's where it really just popped off for real. That's when Rock was, like, really just the main person on the show, the main face of the show. And bro know that. He just don't want to pay her, and that's cool. Hey. That's why Chris Sean and Blueface got so popular on the internet. Because people love to watch that. So he was talking about some we not support no emotional, impulsive, erratic behavior. He just but don't want to pay what up. That's show is built on. Now, based on what Chris Sean said, she want to get her upfront pay and the subscription pay. And I see a lot of people online saying the only reason they was watching Baddies West or Baddies East or whatever you call it, because Chris Sean was on there. So if she was bringing in the most subscribers, she should get paid more than the other people. Like, she Real the talk. Most money. That's just smart business. If you got somebody that's bringing in 300000 compared to somebody bringing in a half a million, a million plus, that person that's bringing in the real dollars, you need to cater to them. You need to tell them, we want to start paying you this much because you should want to keep them. So I get what Chris Sean is saying. Like, pay Bro, I ain't going to lie. If you really think about it, a lot of people be hating on her, and that's what I really feel like it is. They don't like the fact that she popping like she popping, and it's just like, man, we gonna, we don't care about her. We Zeus, she need us, but it's just like she really don't need y'all, gang. Y'all feel like she gonna keep sticking around. No, 2024 is her exit route. She getting up out of there. She making money. She already said she making 20 to 30K on Snapchat every four hours. You think she finna sit around and have to fight and do the most on the reality show? Who that don't even want to pay her for real when all she got to do is post on Snapchat every four hours and she can make 20 to 30k? Like, let's be for real, gang. So it's just like that's why I would have invested in a no cap because it's like we it's going to affect us with you leaving, and they know that, but hey, they hating on her for real. Me more if I'm bringing in more money, I don't think she worth it. Like, we're not paying for people to be erratic and all this other, shit, but I don't know. I thought that's, that's what reality on the shows was based on. What y'all think about this, but be honest. Hey, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all feel like Zeus, they tripping. Y'all let me know if y'all think they tripping, gang, for not paying Christian what she want to get paid to keep her on baddies and all of that. Like, I feel like she the face of Zeus, bro. She really turning Zeus up for real. Uh, Blueface got the crazy in love on Zeus. She was on baddies, turned baddies up. Like, I just feel like give her what she wanted and, and try it out at least one year. At least one year. If your numbers don't change that year, okay, fine. You can go. We ain't paying you that no more. You ain't you ain't proved us that you deserve that. But from what she done done, I feel like she deserved what she want. 
because she didn't got y'all paid. But it's just like y'all finna lowball her and try to run off on her, and she not going for it. She's smarter than that. She ain't like half of the mother females taking what y'all give. Oh yeah, yeah, I take what y'all give just to be on TV. It's not that serious. No, if you feel like you deserve more, I'm not settling. That's a lot of people' problem, bro. They be settling it, letting people lowball them, knowing they they um keep make not knowing that they can make more than what they making. Like, come on now. I feel like Christian planned it the safest route. Give me more money or I'm leaving. And that's really how you that's really how you negotiate if you think about it. That's what how um like sports players do. If y'all don't want to raise my price, I'm gonna go to a different team. And that's how people that's how they get them to get paid. So I feel like Rock really getting she really finessing. Y'all don't pay me, I'm not ever coming back to Zeus. Okay, well, hey, we know if Christian don't come back, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, we might need to pay her, guys. I feel like that's that it, they might pay her. But bro, talking about she ain't worth it, so Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. We finna wrap today's video up. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all smash that like. And if y'all new to the channel, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notice. But it's your boy Kobe TV and we are.